All right, everybody. This is our uh, 3.5 horsepower, two-stroke outboard water cooling canoe motor. That's what we'll be using it for. I'm just going to show you guys uh, how what we're going to do to start it, and uh, pretty much how it works. So obviously, this is the pull string, engine shut off. This is the choke, which is uh, it's labeled incorrectly. If you guys haven't figured that out by now. Whenever you gotta restart it, you gotta flip it to off. <laughs> and then when you pull and it starts, then you gotta flip it back to on. Um, <clears throat> the primer is underneath here. Prime it a few times before you start it. I've, I've already started ours, but uh, you know, we got the, we lubed it up. We have the gear oil in it. We have fuel, so we're ready to go. This is obviously the throttle and the handle. All the way to the right is, uh, you know, minimum as you turn to the left it will increase okay make sure i got a, one of these one of these actually i should have two of those <clears throat> okay there it is it's in my other pocket uh that way whenever you know we start it because it's pretty much brand new right out of the box it uh will run it for about you know 10 hours or so uh probably five hours today <laughs> five hours tomorrow or something of the sort so i'm gonna go ahead and start this up <clears throat> It's primed, chokes up, and on, and it starts right on up, so obviously, choke down, increase the throttle a little bit, right about there, lock it up, I don't have to stand out here with it. about set up. I'll leave it there. I believe this is tight enough. <clears throat> Obviously you see our setup. The trash can. Full of water. Pretty much up to that. Up to that spot right there. What are you looking for is water shooting at the exhaust right there. So it's got to be fast enough for that to happen, to break it in. At least that's what all of our research has indicated that we need to do. So I'll let this run for about five hours today. Five hours tomorrow. Again, it's brand new right out of the box. Fired right on up. And uh, yeah. Again, remember after after it starts up, see how it's labeled off. That's how it should be whenever you start it. It needs to be turned to off, which is technically on. For the choke. Whenever it starts up, then you gotta switch it, switch it back to on, which is off. It's labeled incorrect. But uh but yeah, that's about it. If you guys have any questions, uh, please leave them in the comments and uh Get back to you whenever I can. Oh, also, ratchet strap for the uh, garbage can because, you know, water is moving a good bit. It'll be shaking it all over the place. And uh, additionally, 
every now and then I'd be checking the water temperature. It, just, it, it does get hot after you run it for a while. You know, with all that energy from the propeller. So, once it gets hot enough, you know, definitely dump it out and change the water and fire right back on up. Alright?